Hey everybody, it's Marcus from My Mess Stunts, and I'm gonna be doing a top 10 Xbox 360 video games of all time because uh, the Xbox One's coming out pretty soon, so there's not too many more uh, new games coming out for the 360. So these are uh, top 10 of my top 10 favorite games of all time. So here we go. Number 10, Blitz the League. So uh, I. A big fan of sports games, but this one was just—I don't know—I just—I really like this one because uh, football's my favorite sport, and I play football, and uh, I really liked how it was like the only game that you could dirty hit in and talk crap, and had like realistic—well, not realistic, but I mean like a injury system where you could see the injuries. Not a lot of other games do that. This might be the only one, so that was a. Uh, pretty darn cool and uh, I spent a lot of time making my teams on this you know and uh, so yeah it was just a really fun game so that's number 10 all right coming in at number nine I have Bioshock this is the dual pack but I guess you could just say the whole series but I really like Bioshock 1 and uh, yeah so this will go for the whole series including infinite which I haven't beat yet but anyway, so that's kind of included, but uh, Bioshock is a freaking awesome series. Really good action, sort of scary game. I didn't think it'd be as scary as it was, and but I get scared pretty easily, so it's not too scary of a game to most people, though. So it's a, it's a really good game, though. I just love the combat system, the constant action. It's uh, just a really fun time. Really violent. All the powers you can get are so freaking awesome. So, uh, yeah, so that'll be number nine. All right. <clears throat> no, number eight. Rainbow Six Vegas 2. And I still play this game now. I, I still pretty much play all of these, but Rainbow Six Vegas 2, me and my friends play this a bunch. Because, you know, whenever I have a friend come over, it's not, like, all live. With, but Well, I mean, live, you can play with everybody around the world and stuff, but... This is one of the best games to have a friend come over and just do some split screen on it and just play together. It's really fun. And I love the upgrading system and I found it to be uh, quite a bit more realistic than Call of Duty, which I'm not that big of a fan of. I won't lie, I like Modern Warfare 2, but it's not on this list. I just, uh, I'm not a big fan of Call of Duty. So I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for that, but whatever. So, Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Number 8. Number 7. Yeah, number seven, Red Dead Redemption. Now I'm pretty sure everybody knew this was going to be on the list somewhere. But, <laughs> simply for one reason for me, I had a fucking amazing storyline. The storyline in this game was ridiculous. And then all the DLC with it, which I actually have, the zombies and stuff, was pretty, pretty good. But, uh, Undead Nightmare, I mean, but, uh... Yeah, Red Dead Redemption. The freaking story in this game is unbelievable, and I just love the customization and everything. There wasn't that much customization, but it was it was just a really great game. The bullet thing where you could slow down. I haven't played this game in forever. I don't remember what it's called, but Quick Draw or whatever. It was just freaking awesome. Just roaming around the Wild West, which is a very interesting time that I like, so pretty cool game. If you haven't played it, which most of you probably have. You should. Alright, so number six. <sighs> Alright. Now. Fallout New Vegas. This is the Ultimate Edition, but just the game. Anyway. The DLC isn't very good for this, to be honest. <sighs> I, I'm a big fan of the Fallout series, and this game is... I just, I just love these games. This is a freaking awesome game. I love the whole Vegas atmosphere. I think they could have done a little bit more with it, but uh, it was freaking great. I actually went to Vegas for my birthday not too long ago, like a couple months, and I was just thinking of Fallout every time I was in there, seeing all those different places, cities. I was just, yeah, this is a great game. I love the feel, so, I mean, it's a great RPG, one of my favorites, so we'll just leave it at that for now. That's number six. All right, top five. Number five, the Serious Sam Collection. So, I don't know if a lot of you have heard about this game or not, but 
it was a game originally for the Xbox, and then they did the collection, obviously redid it, and, uh, yeah, if you don't know about it, sorry for that little red dot right there, as you can see, that's the camera, but it's freaking amazing, you have to play all of them, man, I would recommend, well, depends on what time of gamer you are, this is just, uh, it's not mindless, I mean, there's a story to it, really cheesy punchlines, just a great, you know, typical action hero, not a lot of people know about this, but it's great just run through and kill everything type of game, unload, you know, crap loads of ammo into oncoming swarms of enemies, so it's, it's a great game. And it's really fun if you're going to do some co-op on it. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely... I've, I've played this... I remember playing it with my friend back when I was little, so... This is definitely one of my favorites, and it has... comes with four games. comes with, uh, Serious Sam 1, Serious Sam 2, Serious Sam 3 BFE, which is a really great game. The graphics on that are a lot nicer than the other two, but... And then Serious Sam, oh, Three Jewel Nile, some more DLC, and Serious Sam Double D XXL, which is like a little arcade style, but it's a freaking awesome game. If you haven't got it, you should go get it, or at least try it out. All right, number four, Just Cause 2. This is one of my favorite sort of sandbox, do-whatever-you-want type of games, even more so than the Grand Theft Auto they released for... Xbox 3, I cannot wait for 5, but I'm going to be honest, everybody loved it, but I wasn't a fan of 4, so, anyway, before I get too much hate on that subject, Just Cause 2, basically, I'll give you a quick rundown, it's like freaking uh, Grand Theft Auto, except for you're a secret, uh, like or not a secret, a special agent, like in the military, typical action movie type stuff, and you're on a huge uh, islands, a set of islands, Kind of like Hawaii, pretty much, out in uh, the middle of nowhere, and, uh, well, you were sent there to just <laughs> figure out, like, there's a mole. It's, it's, it's got a pretty good storyline. It's a short story. I, I liked it. It was, like, typical action movie storyline, but it's great because you can parachute everywhere. You can hijack planes, helicopters, cars, just like typical Grand Theft Auto, but you're all over an island with huge cities and then, like, vast ravines, and you can just go anywhere you want, and it's got a ton of easter eggs, too, so I love this game. So that's number four. Alright, top three. Number three. Halo Reach. Alright, well, for starters, in this game, you got to pick your guy's voice, which is pretty damn awesome, and you got to be the, you, yourself, were the main character. It wasn't Master Chief, and I really liked that in games, so that was a really cool aspect. No other Halos are like that. You're always a set character. You're either Master Chief or you're the guy in ODST, but this one, you are yourself, and you completely get to customize your guy, I, and everything you customize him with, he looked like in the story, which is what I freaking loved about this one. I spent so much time in Forge getting uh, credits and leveling up. <laughs> Pretty sure I got to, like, Brigadier or something, but I still play this now with my friends. I love it, so... That's Halo Reach for you. <sighs> Number two, Skyrim. I, I I mean I don't really have much to say for this. If you don't know what Skyrim is, you need to find out. <laughs> it's a great uh like a tour, sort of medieval uh time kind of thing, but it's uh with all the dragons and stuff just like that. Those mythic tales and all that, elves and all that. It's it's pretty great. Kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings. Or Game of Thrones, but I played this before I watched both of those. Well, I, I, of course I watched. Lord of, I mean, before I see, before I saw Game of Thrones, I played this. I'm rambling on, but anyway, this is uh, my number nine here. It's a great, amazing game. Great graphics, I thought, and uh, storyline is pretty epic. So get Skyrim if you don't have it. <clears throat> dun dun dun. Number one. Yep. Get at me. Hate on it. Fallout 3. Best game of all time. Without a doubt. Alright, so I'm going to let you know why this is my number one. And if you're mad and stuff or you just don't want to hear, you can go ahead and leave. But don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and all that. But uh, anyway, now I'll ramble. Fallout 3. 
I love this game because my favorite era of all time is the 50s, and it's basically set in the futuristic 50s, which is a freaking amazing era. I love the music in the game, the soundtrack, and uh, Three Dog. Just absolutely amazing. Everything about this game. The gameplay, the characters you meet, full customization. I'm, I'm a big fan of RPGs if you haven't, if you're, uh, you know, big storylines customization if you hadn't figured out. And this is just the best because I told, I, like I said, I love the music. The music is like, for me, pretty much makes the game. And I just love DC because it's a friggin' great thing. And the DLC in this, some of the best DLC I've seen in any game. Freaking uh, Point Lookout, creepy ass hillbillies. It's it's just a great game. And the great storyline of you know you gotta go find your dad. I didn't like New Vegas as nearly as much as this storyline. So. And uh, I like the. It, just felt a bit more wastelandish to me like how it should be rather than new vegas so uh yeah this is definitely my favorite game of all time so thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe guys